you will need your DAQ with your USB cord. You'll need two wires with connectors and stripped ends on the other side. You'll need your DAQ screwdriver, the new printed circuit board circuits that have the thermocouple circuit and the strain gauge circuit on here. So first things first is take the two wire leads that you have. You're going to take the red side and plug that into the positive port on your DAC and the white side is going to be on the negative port or ground port. So I'm going to take this one and connect it to the 5 volt positive on the digital side of the DAC. Then I'm going to put the red wire there and then in the ground I'm going to put my white wire. So this is going to supply the power to our Woodstone Bridge circuit. And you need to make sure that you have all of the accepting uh, connectors to the DAC down so you can put the wires in. So you're going to put the wires in and tighten them. So you're going to tighten it up once you have them in there. Make sure it's nice and tight. Now you're going to go to your analog side and you're going to hook the red one into AI0 plus, the white one into AI0 minus. And then make sure those are nice and tight in there. Now, summer of 2013 here, you're going to be the new special students. These circuits were just designed and printed by me. So, it's got an awesome feature. All you have to do is take the connectors and push them onto these pins. So, up here is your power. Right here, you connect to the strain gauge. And here, you connect to the output to the DAC. So, I'm going to take the wire from my power side, and I'm going to plug it in with the red facing to the right, or if you're looking at it from the other side, if you're looking at it from the camera side, the left. And then you're going to do the same thing with the output. You're going to put it, the red wire to the same side, again, and you just push it down. Then, you're going to take your strain gauge wire with your little attachment, and you're just going to plug it in to the port on the side. It doesn't matter which direction this port is, it's just a strain gauge, so it doesn't have direction, it doesn't have polarity. But this does, so if you uh, just make sure you put the positive here. When you start lab view, you should get a negative voltage, and if you're not getting a negative voltage, just try switching the ports on the strain gauge and making it negative here, so that's easier than unscrewing the DAQ.